Alright then, uh, welcome back to another match. We have the Tuskers bringing out the Fiend. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. They brought a shield uh, shield setup, Navy Scorp, Slap, Bassy, Fiend, Dual Fletcher, Dual Manscore, and a Crucifier. What can you tell me about the Waffle setup, uh, Squeebles? Uh, not a whole lot because my uh, camera overlay isn't working. But, uh, <laughs> I do see a Megathron Navy issue. No Navy Dommies spotted yet, but I'm still holding out hope. Um, so looking like a blaster heavy setup, um, not probably going to fare too well at first glance against what I think is a little more dynamic team. Well, you just got to believe. I mean, it's a full blaster. I, I have a feeling all these are going to be whole tanked, definitely. I, I just want to point out I'm under no obligation to believe, and uh, thankfully in this <laughs> case, I, I don't believe. But we'll see. Um... Looks like a lot of the Waffles uh, core have warped in at zero, while some of their frigates, uh, notably their bombers, have warped in at 50, while the Tuskers team have warped in at a staggered, um, staggered range. Pretty interesting oh, okay. to see what will happen, though. Yeah, I can, uh, I can finally see the teams on my camera client. A lot of green. <laughs> a lot of green on the, oh, uh, yeah, the Waffles a lot of green. side of this. Um, it's good that they're not up against any uh, any real hard control, I should say. I mean, there's not a ton of newts or anything coming from the other side that you have to immediately be worried about. But mm -hmm. um, Tusker is obviously a phenomenal team, and they're going to be quick. So their entire team can move. Uh, hopefully we get a couple of good shots zoomed out here at the beginning of the match. Um, we're still just waiting. A couple messages in local. Our countdown should start shortly. But when it does, uh, what do you expect to see uh, positionally? I expect the full Waffles team to just brawl in and try and rush maybe one of the ships. Probably the Fiend, I have a feeling. Yeah, so here's the question. What is what is winning in this situation? Uh, well, for Waffles, it's probably to kill the Fiend and the Bassy, maybe? Uh, for Tuskers, it's to not lose the Fiend or the Bassy, because if any of those go down, it's going to be... Quite unfortunate. Uh, Alright, so, honest question while we wait for this countdown. How many octaves up is your voice going to go if this fiend goes down? Um, I'll be a ten-year-old boy all over again. Alright, and how many octaves do you think uh, Apnuka's voice will go up if uh, this fiend goes down? Oh, I don't know about that. I'd say three, four? Yeah, I'd say that. You'd really start to panic if they, they get base here. Because that mm -hmm. means it might turn to physical violence. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's, in my, my humble opinion, I, um, I don't see a scenario where Waffles is going to win the match, frankly. I think they can yeah. lock down a, a few choice targets, and if they get really lucky with an early grab on, on that Bazzi, uh, if their non-existent tackle wing, uh, <laughs> manages <laughs> to grab something, that'd be great. But you're talking about a lot of DPS from four bombers, which is fantastic, other yeah, than the fact that... Um, everything they're going to be firing at, except for maybe the, the Navy Scorp. Uh, everything's going to be moving pretty quickly and, and mitigating a lot of damage. So, yep. Um, it's not a bad, away now. Yeah, it's not a bad choice for Waffles. I mean, it's, it's pretty bold, but um, there's opportunity yep. here. They can take down the Scorp Navy. That's going to be huge, but oh, look at this bomber. Yeah, this bomber just got immediately nuked. Probably the, those Slepners have artillery, so no surprise there. Trying to kill... Uh those bombers and it looks like these um these galente setups are yeah they're whole tanked while they're one-shotting hounds for days these slentners are doing work against these uh against these bombers yeah in my opinion uh, the the real deficiency on the waffles team is you've got this this core oh goodbye second bomber you've yeah, got rip. this uh core of close range, uh, not particularly quick blaster hulls, and yet you have nothing to go out and lock down targets for them to close in on. So um, normally when you see bombers, you see them paired with a high projection sort of mobile shield setup. Yeah. And that's definitely not the case here. So all this damage from the bombers is all well and good, but they have nothing to amp up the DPS and they have nothing to lock down targets for these blasters. So they're pretty much just like piling onto that, uh, that Navy Scorpion and flopping around on top of it, hoping that it eventually goes down. And it, it Sort of eh, is, but I don't think it's so. It's in half shield, but they've lost all their bombers right now, and that's a lot of DPS. Bombers almost do 600 DPS each. Uh, also, the Brutus the, is going down as well. If everyone in the chat and the studio wishes for it real hard, though, we might see some tackle come out on this Fiend. 
Um, if this guy's a showman, and I really hope he is, he's going to dive in there and uh, get a web put on him just so we have something to shout about. I don't think it's going to happen. The Fiend is quite happily keeping range, staying away from any of those blaster setups. But it looks like this Scorpion Navy issue, it looks like he might be bait tanking, but he is quite low in shield, 10%. Um, he's actually not getting reps from the Yeah, he's Dazzle not getting right reps. I mean, he might be actually, well, I don't know, he might, the Basilisk might have capped out, maybe repping him too much, but it looks like he is stabilizing at 20% shield, so we'll see. I don't want to make light of what's a very dark situation for, uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe for this team, down but on uh, right now the Tuskers is absolutely pancaking this Waffles team. Oh yeah, uh, unfortunately Waffles bring in, bring in the big balls, but unfortunately uh, not swinging them far enough. Yep. So uh, again, Tuskers just dousing them in sweet, sweet syrupy success. Um, this Brudix is going down. I, I, I'm a little confused by this comp, though. Uh, at first glance, I got it, and then I realized yeah. what, that those ship models were actually all bombers. Um, yeah, yeah. That's where I started to panic. Um, what might you have recommended? So let's say we take the four bombers out of the equation. So we've got a, a Glinty, DPS, Rush Core, yeah. Hull Tank, Armor Tank, whichever. Um, what should they have brought there? Is there an obvious pick? Um, I would just say like f more fast, faster, sh just faster, faster ships that like can tackle things. I mean, you'd be able to like tackle things quicker. But bombers are three points. They're cheap. They do a lot of damage. Um, I honestly don't know really. This setup in general is a bit off. Uh, I know it's a get like a good old Galante rush, but I would have actually swapped out the Brutixes for maybe just like all cruisers, like Floraxes and Vexes. So why is the Scorpion dying? Um, I Scorpion. don't know. I have go! no idea why go! this dude. I believe he's in. Oh shit! He's so close to dying. He's fifty percent structure. It'll be pretty interesting to see what uh, uh, what's gonna happen. He is ASP charging. Um, he's not. I, I think you said it reps. best when you said he's in. Oh shit! Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, he's, he's in. Oh shit! Tanking, moment. Yeah, he's... Taking it a little too far. Oh, come on! This take oh, come on! There it is. Down. Oh my god. That was okay. a quick, that's a turn of events, considering there's only two Navy Megas on the field. And there is a web on the Fiend as well. But unfortunately, right. the Navy Mega just died. That was webbing so was it, that, so. uh, You're involved in the tournament. Was that their flagship Navy Scorpion? Uh, was that that flagship Navy? No, no, I don't yeah. think that was their flagship Navy Scorpion. Okay, their flagship happens to be a Navy Scorpion. There's uh. some wild speculation by the Troglodytes in the uh, Twitch chat saying that that was, their, uh, that was their flagship. You're all wrong. Do better, because I'm relying on you for intel. So this last yep. Navy Mega going This last Navy Mega you know? is going into structure. He's taking some pot shots at the Fiend, trying to live to win. But I don't think it's going to happen. But There's a web on the Fiend! We have a showman, ladies and gentlemen. He's yep, coming he, close. He, he's coming close, getting that multi-freak damage. It's nothing better than when you know a team is listening in on your commentary for pointers on how to fly in the match. Clearly exactly. the case here. Exactly. Last Navy Mega down. And it looks like the winning going to the Tuskers. Quite a cleanup, but they did lose their Navy Scorpion. Yeah, yeah. Great match by both teams, and uh, we'll send it back to the studio. All right. You just made me drop my 